My computer displays a random wallpaper every 24 hours, and some are literally breathtaking. Like this one, or this one, or even this one. Wait, I can explain. But in a world run by Photoshop, do these beautiful places even exist? Could they be fake? An illusion? An NFT? I decided to put this theory to the test by driving 2,571 miles to find this lighthouse just to touch it and prove that it's real. Here's the plan. I found out the lighthouse is in Washington, which means we'll be driving across the entire country from the bottom to the top for approximately 38 hours minimum with out stop, which sounds absolutely ridiculous and exhausting. And to make things more complicated, the lighthouse is on an island, so we'll have to take a ferry to get to it. But with the huge thunderstorm on the way, the only ferry available leaves in four days, so we need to go now. I quickly grabbed some clothes and my camera gear and threw it in my trunk, breaking all of it. Okay, wait, hold on! Am I really about to drive non-stop for three and a half days just to see a lighthouse? Heck yeah, I am. So I jumped into my Jeep and begun the most ridiculous road trip of my life. And I have everything I need. I've got snacks, this power inverter, some books to read while I drive. I mean, if I can even get them out of the box. Oops. Well, I just broke my McDonald's cup and spilled water everywhere. What a perfect way to start a 2,500 mile adventure. But little did I know, things were about to get worse. Because I have to put gas. And the current prices are rising dramatically, which means this is the absolute worst time to take a road trip. But it's too late. I'm already committed to the video. I gotta do what I have to do. Even if it means my wallet will burst in the the flames and I'll cry every night for months, I will do whatever it takes to touch that lighthouse. But just then, after filling up my tank, things got even worse. Cause Godzilla came out of nowhere and obliterated the Jeep! That animation took three hours to make and it was not worth it. Finally, our journey begins. Our first stop is only 865 miles away and I'm regretting this already. But luckily, time was going by fast. Before I knew it, we were already on the road for four hours, which is about how long it takes to just fly to Washington. But we still have 34 hours of driving left without stop. So why didn't I just fly then? <laughs> Wait, why didn't I just fly? This sucks. It's not too late to turn around. I don't know if I really care about this lighthouse anymore. <laughs> Five hours in and we need to refuel. The price here passed $4 per gallon, resulting in a total of 75 bucks to fill my tank, which is the most I've ever paid for gas. Hour nine, I stopped in El Paso to eat a cheeseburger and watch the sunset. It's actually really pretty. Hour 10, I got robbed again by a gas station, but then we made it to New Mexico. And by hour 12, we were already in Arizona, but I was too lazy to get out at that sign, so enjoy this animated recreation that was very expensive to make. 14 hours in, and we finally made it to the hotel, which means it's time to start planning out. Our... Is Adam? That's enough, okay? I just drove 13 hours, I'm going to bed. But, but nothing. You know how much YouTube's gonna pay me for this video? About four dollars. About four dollars. And you know what I can buy with that? Maybe a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Maybe a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Good night. I fell asleep instantly, 30 minutes later. But thanks to a rough night of constant airplanes flying over the hotel, I ended up waking up on the wrong side of the wrong bed. I barely got four hours of sleep right before the second longest day of the trip, and I'm already feeling it. But now, let's make it tougher, because it's gas time, and we have a new high score. 448 here, dude. I'm gonna lose all my money on this stupid gas. Hope everyone's enjoying this freaking video, because it's gonna be my last one. Dude, this lighthouse better be worth it, man. Meanwhile, in the multiverse, a smarter version of me has already flown to the lighthouse touched it, flew back, posted the video, it went viral, and now he's taking a nap. Not me, though. I'm still driving, and I'm not even halfway there. Hour 20, we made it to California, only to be hit by a huge dust storm. There was sand blowing everywhere, and vehicles were disappearing in front of my very eyes. I even had to wear a mask because of how much was entering my air vent. I thought that villain from Spider-Man was trying to kill me. It also caused hours of traffic, but then we made it to Los Angeles, the city that invented traffic, so we were stuck for several more hours, which got me thinking, I'm on FamousBirthdays.com. How many celebrities were also stuck in this traffic right now? Is Rihanna out here somewhere? That's what I want to know. Time for an exhaustion break. I'm just tired of looking at the road. Well, it's too bad. Hour 24, I put gas, hoping the price couldn't get worse. Hour 29, it got way worse. In hour 32, we reached our next hotel in Sacramento, and I couldn't wait to go to sleep. These pills are like bricks. The last half of this drive was extremely tough. I was exhausted, and my eyes were on fire. Just look how red they are. You can clearly see I was done. Defeated. Completely useless. Don't look at me like that, okay? I feel great. I can go another 30 hours easy. <laughs> okay, I definitely can't, but I'm still determined to complete our mission. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna find this lighthouse. So right now I'm going to sleep. So you're not. This time I actually got some rest. Seven whole hours. But I was in such a deep sleep, I kind of don't remember what was happening. Where am I? 12 hours and 25 minutes left without stops. This is going to be my hardest day yet. But before we start, we need more gas. And we just broke the record again. And the total came out to... Ah, why? My soul has left my body. I don't even know what else to say. The pain is too much. This is when I started considering maybe I should just walk there, save some money. But then I started getting sunburn after being outside for about three minutes. And now I'm back in the car. Over the course of the drive, 
drive, my hands started to cramp up from holding the steering wheel for so long. See, when I started, they looked like this, but now they look like this. I'm basically turning into a bird. Hour 36, I started seeing bigger mountains along the road. Hour 37, I saw the most beautiful one I've ever seen in my life. And in hour 38, we made it to Oregon, which means we've entered an area called the Pacific Northwest, also known as the prettiest place to ever exist. The PNW is basically this magical land that's full of everything you can possibly imagine, including giant trees, mountains, oceans, waterfalls, raccoons. It's gorgeous. Overall, the drive through Oregon was extremely eventful. I stopped at the last blockbuster. I found a ski resort. I even climbed a giant rock and took a moment to appreciate the environment. Wow, I love nature. There's literally nothing that I dislike about it. <laughs> Is that a mosquito? I gotta go. I hate it here. In hour 45, we finally crossed into Washington, which means we literally started from the bottom. Now we're here. Drake would be proud or not care at all. After pushing myself for three more hours of driving, we finally reached our Airbnb at like 4 a.m., which at night was very underwhelming. The bedroom was basically just a bunk bed for children inside of a laundry room. Why did I choose this place? Listen, dude, I don't even know where I am right now, okay? I'm lucky to have found a place at all, even if it only has a bed for five-year-olds. I was so relieved to get here, I just wanted to sleep. Unfortunately, I have to get up in three hours to make it to the ferry on time. Yay. Before I know it, the sun rises and I'm able to see exactly where I am. And wow, I was not expecting the view to be this insane. Just from the porch, I could see the Olympic mountains, these cool trees, and where the neighbor's house used to be before it was hit by a giant meteor or something. This had to have been Godzilla, but the real one this time. Anyway, today is the day. Somewhere over those mountains is the lighthouse. And today, we're gonna find it. The thunderstorm is getting closer, so we haven't a moment to waste. Hour 49, we made it just in time for the ferry, which was incredibly huge. But I drove on to it for a smooth one hour ride to the island. We are this close to touching the lighthouse. Everything started to feel surreal at this point because a couple days ago, I had no idea this place even existed. And now here we are on a boat on the other side of the country headed to a random island to find a lighthouse on the border of Canada. What is going on? And while I'm having this life changing moment, I turn and notice some guy who appears to also be having one, except he looks like he's straight out of that scene from Titanic before it, you know, gets attacked by Godzilla. Spoiler alert. I was shocked to notice these other islands had houses on them. Like, what? People actually live out here? This is their view? Where do they get groceries? I have too many questions. Hour 50, we finally landed on the island. They had a ton of shops right when you pull up, which was really cool. And I even found a coffee spot, a painting of the lighthouse, and this... Thing, whatever it is. But the lighthouse mission remained on my mind, so I didn't stay long. Mostly because that thing scared me a little bit. It was only a 15 minute drive to get to the other side of the island. And once there, I climbed some rocks to get a better view over the hills when <gasps> I found it. Dude, there it is. There's the lighthouse. Four days of traveling and we actually made it to the wallpaper. This is where the photo was taken, like right here. The adventure is almost complete, but we have one more thing we have to do. Let's go touch it. Here we go. And just like that, we proved the lighthouse was real. I guess the wallpapers aren't photoshopped after all. Now I just have to drive 50 hours back home. Oh man, I did not think this through at all. Subscribe and I'll go to the next wallpaper. I don't know, maybe not. That was a long drive. I don't wanna, I almost fell. I, I don't wanna drive anymore. Don't forget to subscribe.